Hello, we're going to learn some more about the family of reptiles. And look, I've got something funny on my hand and I'm only going to tell you just now what it's all about. But first of all, let's remember, what family are we talking about? Turtles and tortoises, snakes, geckos and lizards, crocodiles, all belong to the reptile family, yes. They are reptiles, they don't have a hard shell on the outside, they have bones inside their body, they are vertebrates just like you. So they've got soft flesh on top with bones inside. How do they breathe? They breathe using their lungs just like you, but they don't have hair like you. They, their bodies are covered with scales, hard scoots. Do you remember the crocodile scoots? His hard bony scales. And lizards and snakes have soft little round scales. And turtles and tortoises have hard scoots on their back as well. And look here, you can actually see all the different scales on his, on his head, this turtle, and on his legs, yes. And the pattern on his back are all his different scales, hard bony scales called scoots. Crocodiles and tortoises and turtles have scoots. Now, they have scales on their body, they breathe air, they have bones, and their blood is cold. That means that they can't warm their blood up themselves. So when we say reptiles are cold-blooded, it means they cannot control their body temperature. Your body can, you are a mammal. But the reptiles need to lie in the warm sun, to bask in the sun and warm their blood up. And when they're too hot, they need to crawl into a shady spot or into the cool water to cool down. Now, let me tell you, this is meant to be a snake. Can you see my eyes? And the reason why I made my snake like this is because I need to tell you that when a snake skin is too tight, he needs to slough it off. That's a funny word. Slough it off. And what the snake does, he rubs his head and he breaks open his skin and then he crawls out and you know what? His eye has got a scale on it and there's a new eye waiting underneath. Now it's not a proper eye, it's just that the same eye, this eye had a scale, the scale pe peels off and the eye with a new scale is waiting underneath. Now watch. As he crawls, peels off, there you can see the old eye scale, there is the new eye scale, not so shiny yet. And when the snake sloughs off his skin, he always turns his skin inside out. So when you find a snake skin lying somewhere in the garden, you will be able to see all the different scales on the snake, but you will see that his scales are inside out because he always crawls inside out. Now the other thing I wanted to teach you about snail uh, scales, and I think we've discovered that only the black works best. A snake's tummy has got overly skins, so a scale. So if you see a snake skin and the, the, the scales on the snake skin in that pattern, that's his tummy. On his side and his back, you will find little round scales. Yes, so that's what his, the snake's tummy scales look like. That's what the snake's body scales look like. You will see that his skin is always turned inside out. He, he has a new skin waiting underneath. So his skin gets very tight. We don't call it molting. We call it sloughing off the skin. Now remember I showed you last time how you could make your book cover on the other side of your bugs book. And this week also in your pack you have three pages, three pages where you and mum and dad and your helpers can read all about it. And here I want to show you is the picture where the snake is sloughing off his skin. There's his eye and it's all going to turn inside out. But you can read all about this 
in these pages. Remember to put them in your book so that you've got them all in one place. Enjoy learning about reptiles. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.